The university spokesperson says Walton Hall is being considered for that housing. Normally there are 150 students there, but right now it is completely empty since all students left campus. We've heard, you know, in some fire departments throughout the country where, you know, firemen are having to sleep in their cars because they don't want to go home. Fayetteville Fire Chief Brad Harden says hopefully they won't need the additional housing, but they would like to prepare. The dorms would give the department an option so that first responders could avoid putting their loved ones in danger. It's not going to be mandatory that they go and stay in this location. We just want to afford them the ability. After surveying the fire department, Chief Harden says about 40% of the department said it's something they'd like to have. Um, if, if we have to use it, um, I think the fee that we agreed upon was $50 a night. Chief Harden says a third party would be providing food, laundry, and cleaning services for those quarantined. And, uh, you know, the university's really come to, uh, come to our aid. They're going to stand up and do all of that for us. Fayetteville City Council member Sonia Gutierrez says she's in full support. It's a minimal that we can do. They put their safety on um, on the line for us every day, and so I think it's a gesture that we can do to, to say we're there for them. As for the fire department, Hardin says everyone is healthy at this point in time and will continue to follow CDC and local guidelines on all medical calls. And we're wearing masks any time that we can uh, maintain a safe distance, which is going to be you know all of the calls that we respond to. And the Fayetteville City Council is expected to discuss the contract at next Tuesday's meeting. Reporting live in Fayetteville tonight, I'm Kendall Ashman, 4029 News.